Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Chris. And we are Carnival, Carnival Cruise, Cruise Addicts. Addicts. So today we're going to talk about something that I never really used before in the past, and that is Wi-Fi on the cruise ship. Because we're old. Because we're old, yes. It didn't really exist, actually, when we first started cruising. I mean, it kind of existed, but... Not it, on the cruises. Yeah, I mean, we used to get on the boat, throw our phones in the safe, sail away would happen, and we wouldn't touch our phones for an entire week. And it was great. It was a real opportunity to connect, but the world is changing, and a lot of people now want access to Wi-Fi. They have their social media they want access to, keep in touch with friends and family. You know, things might be going on at home. I mean, I was in... Or just to surf the web when you're bored taking a poop. You yeah. know, you're just sitting in the bathroom. You can only read the capers oh so much. Yeah, yeah. Everybody poops, Liz. Uh, but you, you can only read the ingredients on a shampoo bottle oh so many times. Yes, well, okay. so <laughs> Wi-Fi is now here. And actually, the phones today, they have QR codes on all the menus. And so you're, you're constantly with your phone. So... What we want to talk about today is... The phones have QR codes on the menus? I thought the menu had a QR code you can read with your phone. That's correct. Okay, just checking. I'm technologically challenged, but that seems... Like... I've also had a very long day <laughs> at SFU, and so here we are. We're doing our best. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to share with you the Carnival Wi-Fi options that you have. Yep. So the first option is the social Wi-Fi plan. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how I, are you? I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm quite social, so I should probably pay for this plan. <laughs> yeah. $15 a day but this is the bare minimum you get access to like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram LinkedIn Snapchat Facebook Messenger WhatsApp but you can't None access of you most of the things that you want like regular websites you can't do streaming you can't do FaceTime and believe you me it knows the difference yeah. uh, well not, not, not FaceTime but on that you can do uh, Facebook you can do Facebook Facebook video you can't you can't oh, on can't. this one. So this is like the social. bare minimum. You can't get access to your email. So if you want those things, you could upgrade to the value Wi-Fi plan. And that is $20 per day. So with that, you will access all the popular social websites, as mentioned above. But you're also going to get access to some entertainment websites, sports websites, weather, banking. But you still can't do anything streaming. ESPN! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you still probably can't do, you know, the Wi-Fi calling and things like that. If you want to do those things, and I've seen, I was at, um, <clears throat> we were on the Mardi Gras not that long ago, and I walked through the Havana bar, and there was a girl there sitting on her phone talking to her friend. She was obviously on FaceTime. And so you need the premium Wi-Fi. Which is a whopping $2 more a it day. It says $22 per day. Yeah. You get access to everything you get in the other plans, but you also get Zoom and Skype and Teams and you get some like FaceTime and you get access to Wi-Fi calling as long as it's not cellular dependent. So, and what I would say is you can only do one device at a time. So if you're going with somebody else and you both want the Wi-Fi, you either take turns or you have to buy it for each device. Right. I would also say it's better to buy this prior to going on the cruise is there a discount there's a f up to 15 percent discount all right there you go so if you know you need it then purchase it ahead of time and then you'll be all set when you get on the cruise yep when you get on the cruise the way you access it is you have to turn your phone on airplane mode and then hook up to the carnival wi-fi which you're going to want to do anyway because that's how you get the hub app the hub app and do that beforehand because some of the ports the uh Sorry, I'm trying to look at my notes. No. Sorry. <laughs> look at her notes. I was covering her notes. Uh, some of the, not Wi-Fi, the cellular is not the best. And so you're trying to download the app, this, that, and the other. So do it when you're home if you got Wi-Fi at yeah, home. Yeah, do download the Hub app yeah. ahead of time. I will say the Wi-Fi varies ship to ship. Now, Carnival is rolling out Starlink, which people find is amazingly fast. But it's on every single ship. And it's even still spotty at times. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you're trying to work from home or from sea, VPN access is not supported. So you need to work with your company's IT provider to understand like what you can and can't have access to. And you definitely want the premium Wi-Fi package to do so. Yeah, and they also block very sensitive, mature audience, you know, content regardless of what plan you have. Like 
and silly stuff too like gambling websites so like we were going on a cruise so we bought our lotto tickets ahead of time you know just in case we won oh, the, the one billion dollar powerball right. jackpot or yeah. whatever it was, was on the last about. cruise yeah. so we're like oh we need to check our tickets we go to check floridalottery.com couldn't get it site block because it's a gambling site and they have a casino on there so you're not going to have 100 percent full access to everything all the time there is some limited stuff yeah but, I mean, if you want to do your day-to-day -day stuff, your social media, your email, you know, check the weather, whatever it might be, that's, you know, there are many options for you. Mm -hmm. Or you could just say, I don't need the Wi-Fi and disconnect. And shut it off. Throw the Leave it alone. damn thing in the... Because the Hub app will operate on no Wi-Fi whatsoever. You don't have to pay to get access right. to the Hub app. Yep. And, and we know that in the Hub app, you get access to what's going on. Yep. You know, what are the events? What are the foods that are open? Foods, you, restaurants. There, there is a chat feature. It's $5 for the whole cruise. Uh, through the for, Hub app. Yeah, yes. through the Hub app for a chat feature. So if you don't want to accidentally watch the news or you want to just thoroughly disconnect, which is why we go on cruises, then don't buy any of them. But don't. most people, I notice nowadays, like to have access to... Freaking everybody. Yeah. This is all you see on the cruise. And then, like, you're in the buffet line, and they're just... Boom. Okay. It's like, hey! Hey, but it, But now. it's a real thing, and people want it, and so we would just wanted to take it through the different options. Yeah. And so now you know. Yeah. So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, everybody.